can we can we talk about cereal? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Noted DX, your walking, talking flavor review show. Join, I am Sam. Join me in welcoming the rest of the crew: Daniel, Tim, Linda. What's up, everybody? Hey, everyone. Evening. Hi. You're muted, Daniel. Hi. Happy Easter week, and I'm a noob. <laughs> Easter week. Yeah, because we were on Sunday. Easter's on Sunday. That that's next week. Yeah, and we will be yeah, the, on. The week starts be, on Sunday, so that's next. So this we should, week is we the should week think before. Of April Fool's. We're, we're not going to have another episode before then, though, Sam. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, <laughs> April Fool's <laughs> is the next day. Oh, it's the day after. You're right. It is. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Very nice. What's up, everybody? I'm seeing a record amount of people in chat tonight. <laughs> uh, Everyone's Super exciting so excited profile. about yes. bitters and bergamots, and we're also doing Earl Grey's. Um, it's mostly going to be Tim talking tonight. Apparently. We got a nice, nice little break from our last four or five weeks of twenty plus flavors. So, <laughs> um, before we get on into it, we're going to do our giveaway at the end of the show, but. If you head on over to the reddit.com backslash r backslash yellow underscore e juice to thread, make any sort of comment you want. If you really want to get FA Bergamot for free, <laughs> yay! Because that's what we got. You're going to win this guy tonight. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, because they don't have even bitters on there. Well, they probably didn't know about Earl Grey. You know, ID10T it hooks you up with that and both BCF, so they might. They might let you, let you get a few other things, um, but you're winning twenty dollars worth of flavors. I, I mean, I'm, I I'm winking include, if you can't see because <laughs> there's Earl Grey TPA or TFA on their website, so I hope they oh, include that. Yeah, that so um, sponsored. if Earl Grey is on here, I will actually get a hold of them and and or they'll watch tonight, they'll watch tomorrow, yeah. and know that it is we're including. They're them, awesome. But. We, that was the last minute thing last week, and it, it's not in the title either, but no reason not to. Um, thank you, Bull City, for that. Everybody else, you can get 10% off this flavor for the week. Then don't forget to head on over to nomnoms.co.uk. I have some wonderful news. Um, use code NOTED15 to get yourself 15% off your cart. Uh, the code got bumped up a little bit, so if you want to use that... Versus the the twelve percent offer that they give you, um, that noted fifteen will get you fifteen percent off your cart. Some good flavors. Thank you, Nom Noms, for doing that for us. We really A appreciate few. it. Thank you, Nom Noms. And for the community, um, go get yourself some of these new flavors. We went over this whole line. If you're a new viewer, we went over this brand whole brand new line over the last uh, few weeks. So really, really good hit rate. Yeah, really great new flavors from from Nom Noms. So go check those out. We love them as well. And then if you want to check out our Patreon, that link has also been dropped in the chat. Um, it, it helps us out. Five, ten bucks a month. Just getting supplies uh, between the four of us um, every every so often. Um, and thank you to everybody that does subscribe to our Patreon. Um, we really appreciate it. We love everybody out there. Uh, so, oh God, 
Tim, Daniel, you didn't answer in chat. You just laughed at me when I asked. I just laughed. <laughs> Do you only have I, like one or two as well? No, I have. I'm pretty sure I have as much or if not more than Tim. Okay. I mean, I, I have all the Bergs. I got Earl Grey, a couple of those. And then the Bitters, I think I got, you know, besides getting like Deccan and Vapors or Nick Flavors or something like that. Um, I got all of them, I think. Noms had didn't have Noms and Bull City did not have like back bar bitters. And I didn't know we were doing that's where I brain. that's where I got mine too. That's weird that they yeah, I know it's it's weird trying to get them. Like when I tried to order the TFA, it wasn't there. Now it is. Yeah. It's like okay. And I didn't know, yeah, I didn't know about the tea. So so um that mean so i was just gonna say tim tim's gonna just go ahead and take off i uh, have bergamot so it's gonna be the daniel and tim show tonight with us me and linda asking important questions about these flavors well like like from well, two people that have wildly different palates than <laughs> yeah <laughs> daniel no. i don't have it but do you have tfa tfa, TFA what earl gray oh i love tfa earl gray you don't do you have, have Okay. No, I didn't have it. It wasn't in stock when I tried to order. So, okay. Uh, is this one or two? Because they have what? Earl Grey and Earl Grey 2. I don't have the second. I've never okay. even been able. I've never seen that. Um, I I don't they, think there's they, a need They have a it. bunch of, like, number twos that aren't necessarily the same mm -hmm. thing as, like, vanilla custard 2. Because mm -hmm. that, that number, that's a number two. Every other one is a Roman numeral 2. I it's bet you it's weird less weird thing that they do. I bet you it's less or more potent. I'm guessing. I wonder if it's a chemical thing because I have the chai tea and the second one is like not the good one. The first one's clear. The second one's like dark black. It's really weird. So well, this one has Anyways. normal uh, TFA Earl Grey tea is or TPA, whatever. Um, uh, normal color, all that. Nothing abnormal about it. Uh, I can't remember exactly like what to use in the mix, but a uh, single flavor test I did five. I've done mixes with it at two, uh, and three. It is a little pungent. I mean, it tastes exactly like, in my opinion. I mean, I'm not an avid tea drinker, so I don't want to don't want to disrespect anyone. And they get this and like this is not authentic Earl Grey, but the times I've had Earl Grey, this tastes exactly like it. Uh, it's very juicy. Um, in a single flavor test, you, you think you're okay, but in a mix, it's very, uh, dominant. It's hard to add other things to it besides what it is, you know, which is tea. Uh, it's very juicy, has a good body. Um, I would say it's a little boring, you know, cause it's just Earl Grey. There's nothing to it. It's just the flavor of Earl Grey, which I don't even know exactly what it is. That's how, you know, meh, but I actually enjoy the flavor. Um, it made me, uh, when I first tried it initially, it made me actually go and purchase Earl Grey tea just because I was like, huh, I kind of like this. Um, but yeah, it's just a random flavor, you know? So like if you deep dive teas and you love teas, this is, I think one of, you know, a mandatory one, but if you're looking to add some additives or some to your arsenal, I don't think there's any kind of hidden agenda here. It's just pure Earl Grey. I don't think you could do much to it. Maybe add something simple to it, but I don't think it's like the master mix. You know what I mean? I don't think it's like TPA iced tea where you can add lemonade. You like a add tea and strawberry. biscuit. You can do a tea and biscuit thing with it. Earl Grey seems like the right one for that. I would say, yeah. I mean... I could so see adding like buttery biscuit notes to it and just something like that, but you have to go into mixing with it, uh, knowing that it's going to be very, very pungent, very, uh, dominant when you mix with it. That's why I recommend, you know, using less than, you know, 2% probably to when you in, when you mix with it. I mean, it's definitely really good. I mean, it's it reminds me, you know, a lot of their iced tea and the similarities of, you know, accuracy. You know, like it's not that far off from the real thing. Are you At getting much of that mind. orange? Are you getting much of the orange flavor from the bergamot? Uh, wait, uh, from the Earl Grey? 
Yeah, from Earl Grey. It's not overly bitter. You do get a little bit of bitterness from the burger. Not, not, not to the point where anything cap super sweet can't compensate in mute. Uh, uh, it, it has a little bit of the citrus bite in there, but whatever the Earl Grey flavor is, which I can't remember exactly what it is, it's more prominent there. Like uh, you don't get an overly citrusy, overly bitter. If anything, it's kind of sweeter than a normal Earl Grey. Like you definitely added sugar, you know, uh, even when I didn't add super sweet. I like it. I mean, if you guys like tea, I would recommend getting it, especially it's 149, whatever. I'm kind of sad I didn't gra- get a, to grab this one because that sounds way better than the next one. <laughs> I like did it. Anyone, did anyone else have that one? Not me. So, F.A. Earl Grey tea, Daniel. Go ahead and start. F.A. Earl Grey? Yeah. Um, I'm a fitty. <laughs> it's, uh, um, it's, a, I get, it's very alcoholic to me. Uh, very harsh. Uh, and was more, like, Earl Grey tea in real life is not, like, I don't think it's like elitist tea. I don't want to like call it, but I don't like you. It's more of a flavor and sweetness that I get from it. Whereas this one was just more on the earthy kind of tea side. So it led to like just an awkward, like this felt like a kind of like a hipster Earl Grey tea and just like not a good one. You know, like one of those off brand mom and pop companies, but really bad. And then also the, the, the alcohol note that I got in it, you think it would steep out like the little burn or harshness. It didn't for me. It 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 faded, but it was still kind of in the back and had a little raspiness. I TPA without a question is better in my opinion. Uh, price wise, it it's way better. But yeah, this one was uh, disappointing. And Linda, you don't have this, so yeah. no. I for me the the biggest downfall of this one is it's like a really dirty like dirty like it tastes it's not a really good vibrant tea i mean earl gray is kind of a more of a lazy tea anyway but it's not even got that it just tastes like it's like somehow you got every bit of husk you could possibly grab a little bit of dirt ground in it it's just not good tastes i can't i tried it at different percentages wound up falling at one percent being fairly decent for testing it Tried it higher, tried it lower. It didn't make a difference. It just kind of tasted blah <laughs> and dirty. Like if you want to dirty something up, I'd rather use a tobacco to dirty it up myself. At least that's got a purpose. This one doesn't for me. And I didn't get, did you get any of the blood orange out of this or, or any orange, like orange vibes? Not blood. I, I got no orange. Yeah, I know. It's like, no, it was like didn't bitter. get that. Didn't get the, no didn't get good bitter. Like, like almost, no. you know, no. What about you, Sam? Do you got this one? No. No. I only have F.A. Bergamot. I failed for tonight. Okay. Got one more Earl Grey. All right. Which I one totally do you have? Because I have the VSL. Do you have one? Oh, no. I forgot two more. So, uh, Deck oh, ahead. Papers has an Earl Grey tea that I got away back, and I totally forgot I had it. Uh, But it's pretty good. It's kind of similar to tpa uh but very weak i mean and you have to use like 10 percent, five to ten percent somewhere around there uh it, it's got it's very similar to tpa in the sweetness as well but imagine it's more earthy and more like authentic i would say uh, more natural uh it has good body though good juiciness uh you do get a little bit more of the bitterness uh, and like the blood orange and the citrus and all that a little bit more than TPA. I would still recommend TPA uh, just because it's cheaper, easier to source. And I like the flavor uh, better. But Degnan Vapors, if you're like looking for a good Earl Grey tea and, you, and you're from like Europe, I, I would I would recommend getting it over TPA. Uh, it is less potent, though, like I said, five to 10 percent. So you know, kind of take it as is. But if you're in the UK and you're sourcing Deccan Vapors, it's cheaper than it is for us because you can order it direct and there's a they have a 
ton like if you sign up for their their uh email list they have a ton of weekly monthly deals so you can easily kind of stock up if you're in europe and if you have money and here you can do it <laughs> uh, but yeah this one's good uh not not too popular though it doesn't even i don't even think i've ever seen anyone use it in a recipe or even talk about it there's also a i didn't know they flavors. had it I there's a nature's that. flavors one but i couldn't find it but yeah and then there's vso right yeah the vso uh do you remember it i remember it being vaguely uh I remember it being less potent. You know, you use it in the 5 to 10% range. I remember... At 10 to 14 is what's recommended. Yeah, okay. I knew it was kind of high, but it was more of a one-shot and you add a couple of stuff to it to kind of make it your own. I remember it being kind of like TPAs, but not sweet and more earthy. It wasn't bad, honestly. All all VSO teas are pretty good. They're kind of... They remind me of sticks teas. Sticks mix teas to be... Sorry, to be specific. Uh, this one has, it's kind of, it ha doesn't have as good of body as the, the other ones. Uh, but it is probably on the more authentic side out of all the bunch. If you wanted, I prefer sweet Earl Grey tea or any teas. So that, you know, why I prefer TPA. Uh, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, uh, one of my favorite, favorite, more, fa like, I don't like all his teas, but this is one of the ones that, are pretty good. Do you guys remember? You don't have it, Linda? Um, I don't remember. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the what? tea part of this is much better than the FA. It's not like that dirty, dirty, it's like a proper dirty tea, like because Earl Grey is kind of that type of tea. The tea part of it's what shines here. Uh the bergamot part of it, the bitters part, it's not really bitter. It's kind of a nice mellow tea. Um for me, I eight to ten percent works for me. If I go honey higher, it kind of like I tend to, a lot of them tend to punch out a little weird for me. For some reason, it hits my palate weird. But it was just Earl Grey tea. I know, very exciting Earl Grey tea. I mean, if you had it, you you know what I mean. It's just an ordinary tea. Could you <laughs> like, add that to hot water and like have it be a flavored water? I actually thought about that, that maybe it might work with a hot water thing. It might. And some honey yeah. or whatever. It or might. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, because you can do that with a lot of these flavorings. You can add them to the water yeah. the water and like the soda stream, or you can make a, if you wanted a cold Earl Grey. So I've actually know people that like cold Earl Grey tea. Yeah, so I do. Cold. I love Earl Grey. Add a cream to it or something like that. Usually I like a little bit of cream in my tea, usually, but not always. But yeah, it's not a bad tea, but it, it's the bergamot and it's mellow. It's there, but mellow. You get a little tiny bit of that orange zestiness, but not much. But um, yeah, that's, that's not a lot to say about it. It's just, it's all great. Sorry, it's hard to break it down much more. They're kind of earthy teas. This one tastes like a real tea versus like the flavor art for me is so dirty. It was like, like you said, bottom line tea. It tastes like something that Walmart rejected. Off their, yeah, it's a their basic man. line. It wears a beanie. Yeah. And sunglasses inside. Uh Burgermots. Do you have any others, Daniel? Other than FA? Uh I got FA and VTA. All right. Go ahead and go over the other one. I'll go over FA afterwards because I think everybody has that one. Yeah. Everyone has FA? Okay. VTA is better. Oh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> uh, at <laughs> least, I mean, woo. Uh, VTA, I mean, I'm not going to, they're very similar. I'm not going to say it's like, oh my God, so much better. But I, I just prefer uh, VTA as an additive and a flavor in general. Uh, it's very citrusy. It has uh, some of that bitter note to it. Uh, that is very, very pungent. Uh, when you single flavor test it with no sweetener, but when you add sweetener to it, it kind of tames it. So it's kind of dancing in the background um the blood orange i kind of just blends with the overall kind of citrus note i get a very kind of like citrus blend drink kind of vibe from it it's got good juiciness i don't have i i, I single flavor test it at two uh i i wouldn't i don't think you need to use it higher than two uh it's got good body for what it is you know i mean i don't know like is there a thick body berg I don't know. 
um, <laughs> but like it, it, it's it's good. What I like about it compared to the uh, FA is the bitter note overall is better. Overall, it that note it it doesn't linger as much, so it's a lot easier and fun to work with. And then the blood orange and whatever the other stuff that's with it, the citrus blend that I just get from it, is just overall more enjoyable. Um, you know, it's kind of like you can easily mix it with like grapefruit, you know, blood orange, whatever. Uh, but I, I've always liked this over the uh, FA. But I think, you know, like you guys don't have to don't run out and get it, you know, unless it's. Some you want to deep dive. I think it's good additives for like drinks, any kind of, you know, citrusy drinks, sodas, lemonades. Some people use it for cereals, um, yada, yada, yada. But I I like uh, VTAs better. I miss VTA. Yeah. Mm, I know, um, I'm yeah. Although technically it's not a blood orange. I think blood orange is the closest rendition to something to compare. I don't, it, I, yeah, I don't. I, I tried to find like, all right, am I getting a regular orange? Am I getting a tangerine a grapefruit? And it just felt kind of like, I hate to get sound cliche, like a wild melon favora blend, but like literally like a citrus blend, like a unique citrus blend where it's just kind of, you blended a whole bunch of citruses together. Well, Every now and then grapefruit, you know, limes, lemons, everything from it. Blood orange. It, it, bergamot's just supposed to be like the, oil of the the peel yeah mm -hmm. it's supposed to just be bitter you, uh, orange peel secrets. oil yeah did you uh get any floral notes off of this one i don't want i don't want to talk about it he probably I did he just doesn't, doesn't taste them because he's daniel see yeah so i personally didn't get any abnormal florals i mean besides you know like a, the citrus zestiness kind of thing but I, 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 you know, after the last couple of weeks, uh, especially with the the noms, I'm almost 100 percent sure it has floral notes. In it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know for sure because for me, it tastes fine. But apparently, my floral tolerance has been Percept your floral perceptives are a little worn out. I'm pretty <laughs> sure if I researched it right now, if you look up both FA and VTA, I'm willing to bet both have floral notes. Yep. Very bitter, right? Uh, but I don't get anything abnormal besides, like, you know, like I said, so but I'm weird, so disclaimer. Apparently, all right, then we'll start this one here. We get to all go through, yay! Start with Daniel. Let's see, do you have FA Bergamot? I do, I got this one. <laughs> I feel Me weird. Too. You guys want to talk about it first? No, go ahead, go ahead, Daniel. You are number one. The I, yeah. I don't, I don't like it as much. It's just the bitter <laughs> note, like I talked about. Um, it's more expensive. Well, not that much more expensive. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's terrible. Um, it's a lot more popular in mixing. So if you are looking to just mix other mixers or mix classic recipes, this is one of those flavors that it's in a lot of like hidden gems. Uh, that's why I originally got it years ago was because I found a recipe and I was like, what? And I, I needed it for a cereal recipe, and it was amazing. So, like, it has its uses in that regard. However, as a single flavor test, it almost feels like you're in jail or in purgatory. It's uh, very boring, uh, bitter. The bitter note, like I told you, is not as enjoyable. It lingers a lot more for me, at least in a single flavor test. In a single flavor test, this is god awful. <laughs> in, in mixes it's much better and much more enjoyable i single flavor test this at two i regretted it the entire time uh i think it's better 0.5 to one in that area uh but i mean it's not it's way better than a lot of crappy flavors but um like i said i prefer vta it's just overall better as a single flavor test it's not as legendary but I don't have much to say about it. It's just kind of, I don't get as much citrus. I don't like the citrus blend that I get from it. And then the bitter notes just linger, which kind of annoys me, but it makes it really good with like, for me with like mojitos and stuff where I want like the citrus bitterness to linger. Uh, it paired well with wonder flavors, uh, which I used a couple months ago. Uh, so yeah, it has its uses, whatever. 
uh, it's been so long since I've done this. Who do I ask, Linda? <laughs> um, so I did this one at one. Um, I just kind of get like, I guess almost like a subdued citrus bitterness, almost oily lingering, but not oily, but just like I kind of get just like a subdued, yeah, citrus mix kind of. Um, not much. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it except like, a, it's just subdued. I thought it was going to be a little more like zesty and tangy. And I, I don't really know what bergamot is in real life. I think, um, bitter orange. I don't get much orange from it, but I do get like the bitter zestiness you're talking about. Um, and I did make a mix with it for tonight so i can talk about that after uh yeah tim i got a uh slightly bitter it's not super bitter but it's in comparison to what we're gonna get into later but there's slightly bitter like zesty like yeah like kind of like you were saying linda i don't really get orange so much as i get definitely a citrus but i can't break down that citrus completely on this one this one doesn't strike me as pure orange and i get a tinge of floral at the end on this one Oh, it's a little I bit, forgot to a say little, that. Sorry. I get a tinge of floral off this one, <laughs> which I like for what I'm, if you're using it, like I've had this in mixed drinks recipes before. I, I've had a few people make them. I think Larry made one or two with this in it. And I get that out of this and it's good for that kind of thing. But I mean, it kind of reminds me of what bergamot's supposed to taste like, but I've never used just bergamot in real life. So I don't know, other than in some of the Earl Greys, which have had some that were more zesty, but a lot of times you get more of an orange note, which you don't get. You get like more of those. This almost reminds me, we'll get into it later, but the back bar bitters type realm for me. So what about you, Sam? Yeah, this is like um this is like a bitters, you know, like an orange bitters. Mm -hmm. It's uh I'm getting I'm not getting a citrus mix, I'm getting orange. Um uh, it's it I did two percent and it's definitely a soft accenty. You know, there's no body. I didn't get anything really. It. I think it's very accurate to what bergamot um, should taste like. Jeez, did, Jen says she uses it like quarter to yeah. a half a percent. That that's what I think I've had it before. I, so it ma makes me wonder, like, if it's just you don't need it. Like, there's just not a lot of flavor to it. It's an accenty flavor, and you can use it really low. You don't, you know, you don't really need it at two percent. Um, Cause it sticks through, I guess, but I am getting like not orange zest, but like bitter orange peel, like, like the, like the white pith part or something like of like, and it's a little like tea leaning orange. I don't like not spiced. That's not the right way to say it, but it's the bitterness I think is what it's like the oil, bitter orange oil. It's almost like zest. It's it's really almost mm -hmm. like just zest, but yep. but more you know on the on the bitter and you know I think it's very accurate. Um, it's just really light. You're not going to main flavor this. It's 100 percent an accent flavor, like she's saying in chat there. Um, I don't I've have any of the other ones to try it too, but I think as far as orange flavors go, it's unique. Um, I would like to get some. I should have back bar bitters. I thought I had it. I don't know why I don't, but. Um, I could see it working in drink mixes and stuff as that bitters. Like if you're trying to do like an old fashioned or exactly for whatever else trying. uses bitters, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, um, I think it, it is like, yeah, it's not like, you know, hitting as a uh, peel with a, with a lighter and then, you know, you know, it's not that kind no. of a thing. It's definitely like you, you zested it too hard and then, and then you, you took flavor out of that or whatever. And so, I don't, I don't hate it. There's no off notes from it or anything. Like this is extremely accurate. It's just, yeah, boring to single flavor test. But, yeah. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> this is a terrible oh. episode. So, All right. So let's get into the, it? let's do it. This is terrible. Back, back bar bitters time. Do you have back bar bitters? But mm -hmm. on it, you know, in real life, you don't, bitters is an accent thing too. You don't mix bitter. You don't mix it with soda water and just drink bitter soda water. <laughs> you know? Bitters um, soda water. You don't just drink so straight like bitters from the bottle? Water. Tonic water is pretty close. Dude, I went to the bar the other night and I had an old fashioned. She's like, oh, we're out of oranges. I was like, oh, it's fine. You need the citrus. You have to have the citrus to to offset the bitters, like the sour and the bitter with the sweet. And like, you, it all plays together. Because you have without to. it, 
it tastes Did you like... test it with properly? Like it pairs really well with tonic water. Dude, I swear to God, I asked the lady, I was like, did you put fireball in this? It tastes like cinnamon whiskey. She's like, no. <laughs> She's like, let me put some lemon in that. I was like, that's a lot better. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, in real life, nobody you know, drink just bitter straight. <laughs> oh, that's so, so bad. So Daniel, do you have back bar bitters? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it it's 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 exactly what you think. Uh, very potent, very accurate. Uh, I don't know exactly uh, what bitter it, it is. You know, like I can't tell you if it's the bitter for uh, an old fashioned or whatever. Because I mean. Back in the day when I did drink, I've been to bars where they've had like 20 bitters. And I'm like, what? I thought there was just a couple. But there yep. is hundreds of bitters you can get. So this, I don't know the exact one that Favora was going after for what it is. It's a really good bitter. I mean, it's very weird uh, going through it. You know, because you're like, you're so, uh, it's me, I'm so used to fruits. So doing, you know, something like this, but it, it, it is very accurate to just a general uh, bitter kind of brand. It's a darker bitter, uh, bitter. There's, how do you describe it? I mean, it's just. I actually don't think it's that bitter. I mean. Like compared to va Vape Train. Vape Train? Yeah. I mean. Vape trains is more bitter, but for me, at the end of the day, when this is like, I mean, if we're talking about in drinks, no, it's not bitter. If real life drinks, but if we're talking about in this form, and how I'm always using cap super sweet, it's like a total for me. It's a total different experience for my palate. It's almost yeah, that makes shocking sense. and just weird. If that makes sense, like it's like abnormal to me, but. I, VTA is definitely more bitter, but I, I still think this is. I like this one better just because it's potency. Uh, and if I had to use a bitter, I'd probably use this one. And that's what I would go off of. So I'm guessing Wayne has this one. Yeah, this one is like a darker, like this one has like spicier no notes in it, where like Vape Train kind of doesn't have any of those notes. So this one kind of fills a different area, but I actually find it like a little bit sweeter. It's like almost like a little bit on the sweeter side than um than what I would kind of want from it. It's not bad. It's also it's not bitter in the way that that I kind of want a bitters, but it does kind of I see what Daniel's saying. Like it does kind of fit the role. It's just I think it could go a little bit further. Like I I kind of wish Vape Train bitters had a little bit of like flavora bitters, like dark notes and like spice notes in there, because then it would be perfect. But um but yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. You're not really ever gonna use it much. <laughs> That's the thing with these flavors. I've actually used this in quite a bit because other certain people in the community make a lot of drink recipes. Um this is like what though? Like an old fashioned? That's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah, that's all old fashioned. <laughs> Um, what I else would you I, use bitters I, I, in? I think I think it was a gin mix. It was really good in which actually this is the type of bitters that mix with like a gin, a brighter liqueur because uh, liquor because it actually brings it darker, the darker notes into it. Kind of hints. I like it. It's brighter. Well, if you want to make a uh, Manhattan, yep, Manhattan would be good. I've one. also never tried these by themselves, so maybe um, trying it by don't. itself, it's a little don't bit wait. different. Don't don't wait. Don't wait. Don't. <laughs> don't. I have no plan. It's pretty bad. I'll let you guys do that. I have no this plan on doing bad. that. I'm not. I'm not going to deny it. This was not pink, fun. Pink gin, whiskey and bitters, old fashioned, Sazerac, Martini, Manhattan, Champagne, the Sawyer, mm -hmm. Champagne cocktail, the Sawyer. There's a few, but yeah, was, yeah, Manhattan, Sazerac, and old fashioned. You know, that's yep. about it, right? So yeah, it's the it's ones I can think of that I've Sam, heard. Sam, do you have the back bar bitters? No, I wish I. Okay. Fitty yeah. is supposed to have it, but he didn't get it in time. It's actually. I, I've had quite a few mixes with this and it works nicely. Like Daniel said, it it does punch yeah. through somehow, even though like Wayne said, it's not really bitter, bitter, but, but it's punches through somehow you taste it. 
can taste it in a mix. Like even against some of the, uh, like in Larry's recipes, he always add the Russian vodka and everything to it too to make it more alcohol flavored. Yet this will punch through it. So it's, that's impressive. Yeah, because it's got like spice in it and it's got that citrus sort of like rind flavor. Yep. And those on its own are going to punch through. So you don't really need like a super heavy bitter flavor, which is going to fuck a lot of shit up anyway. True. Daniel, you said you have VTA bitters? Yeah, I mean, it's it like like Wayne said, it's it's more bitter uh but less potent in my opinion, you know. Like I would never dare to single flavor test Flavora at 2%, but this one you can do it if you want. I, I didn't want to, but I did. Um it's You vaped this at 2%? Bitter. Yeah. Why not? Oh, you're insane. Uh, uh, wait. <laughs> Why not? Let's find out how many watts. You gotta push, you gotta try, and then you know. 120 <laughs> watts. So I vaped it at a different variety, fortunately. Uh it's 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 um man, it's my week has been terrible because of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> um it, it's 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 uh it's darker than Favora. Uh, it's not as potent as Favora, but yet it, like Wayne said, more bitter. Uh, the body, I wouldn't say, is as dense as Favora. Um, it's more watered down, so I think it might be better in certain applications than Favora. Um, I kind of disagree with y'all. I think Favora would be more useful in in more brighter mixes than darker mixes. You know, uh, whereas I think like the uh, VTA would be better with like Manhattans and Negronis and stuff like that, like darker kind of flavored ones or whatever. Um, yeah, this one just made me like, hey, Sam, you requested this, right? No, no, okay. This is, uh, this is part of the orange series, so it's just this whatever Odie Duda decided to do. Oh, so we just threw bitters for no reason. He split up oranges, and this is part of that. Yeah. I just don't know how. Now I have bitter flavors for no reason. No, I'm not single flavor testing bitter bitters or live. What, um, do you, what do you think of VTA? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Please. Um, it's like exactly what Dan said. It's like lighter, thinner, bit more bitter, and, and it doesn't have any of like the spice notes that Flavora has. Like it doesn't have. Uh, uh, there's like no cinnamon or anything like that. Not like that Favora's spice notes are prominent in any way that you taste them, but they're not like, yeah. VT just is like a, like a clear, thin, watery type of bitters. Um, I don't know. It's bitters. It's like, <laughs> I might've used it like one time. You know what I mean? Is there supposed to be cinnamon in bitters? Um, it depends on the bitters, honestly. Yeah, it's like Daniel bitters, said, like normal. you go to a proper stock bar, there are literally oh hundreds of bitters. I know I have grapefruit yeah. bitters at home right now, but like Angostura bitters, like the general, because that's why I was like, when I went and I got it without the orange, it tasted like cinnamon whiskey. Like it was weird. I, I was like, almost, never. I almost think so I weird. remember there being a cinnamon specific cinnamon bitters at the bar once that I had, and one of they added it to, like, um, one of the. One of the um, ones for St. Patty's Day drinks. Cinnamon bitters would make more sense than trying to infuse your drink with like cinnamon sticks or some shit. Yeah, like that. Some, yeah, like, have you had Angostura not. bitters? That's what yeah. I'm wondering. Like, are they supposed to be cinnamony? Because I had they're not like cinnamony, there. but they're not like they're not like clear. You know what I mean? They're you not like clean ones. They're like yep. there's like a chocolate there's like a bitters, deep yeah. sort of almost like cola like okay. like. Yeah, thickness it's to dark chocolate bitters. Daniel I've had I those before too. Bitters yeah, are kind of like uh, this, kind of like how we use tools, uh, like uh, additives, like uh, a lemon zest made by bitters. Yep. Yep. I mean, technically, understand. lemon zest is a type of bitter. Mm -hmm. Lime zest is a type of bitter. Bitters is there's Lime usually drinks. it's like a highly concentrated alcoholic. Like bitters are alcohol because it there's yeah, like forty five percent or something, right? Yeah, yeah, they're up there. Yeah, quite often used by just soaking it, soaking the liquid <laughs> in yep. it, and just yeah, like a highly concentrated. Do you have any other bitters other than VSO, Daniel? I don't even know. Uh, no, I think that is the last one that I have. That's a white truffle. All right, do you have the regular and the raw, or just the one? Um, 
I have both. Uh, I vaguely remember both. I do remember... Uh, yeah, that's all the one. I mean, are we counting Bitter Wizard? No. Okay, just check. <laughs> well, he put it in chat, so I was wondering myself. I wanted yeah, to single like, flavor test. I was it just live. double check. Um, <laughs> uh, has anybody? I don't have a ton of experience. Does it have notes like um? It's just bitter to it. It's just, or is it just bitterness? It's like it's meant to like emulate tobacco bitterness. smoke. Okay, I uh, just like fucks a... the pH level up. That was the idea of Bitter Wizard. Okay, I've seen it used as like in addition to sour additives. Always thought that might work, but all right. Anyways, no. But Daniel, so, what do you think of the VSLs? The OG, the the regular ones. I mean, so like from what I remember, like you could easily do it at five percent, and it was kind of mild. Um. Uh, I mean, it, it, it was a, a bitter, but it was kind of diluted. It wasn't uh, pungent enough. Uh, he fixed it with the raw. The raw was, you know, more of a one to two, and that's pushing it, honestly. You could easily use one and be completely fine. And it was more full-bodied, just overall better. Uh, um, the bitterness that I got from it... Uh, I remember it having, I, I could be wrong, but I remember it having like cocoa and a lot more uh, unique spices. Um, uh, the body was uh, pretty good as well. Uh, and if we were to rank it on a bitter scale, I'd probably put it a couple notches below Favora. Um, I wouldn't say it's more bitter. I think uh, the VTA, VTA is definitely more bitter in my opinion. Uh, but overall, if you were looking, I know Tim had a lot of recipes, if I remember, of these uh, back bar, uh, back, whatever, bitters raw. Uh, but the, the raw just overall was better. I never mixed with it, unfortunately. Uh, but go sit down. I'll give you some chocolate. You know, it is what it is. What, uh, whoever. I think Linda it's just or me. Tim. You have it, Linda? No. No. So, no. so, yeah, I agree with you. The you do have to push the other. It's more like almost like, kind of reminds me almost more of a lemon zesty note you get out of the regular. It kind of just brightens it up. But there is a little bit something else there, like you said, chocolatey notes. I kind of, I don't, I didn't. I'd have to recheck. But there is some kind of other note there for the bitter part. Um, but then when you get to the raws, you do get some body to it. You actually can like feel it on your tongue almost and for me it's brighter than like back bar bitters so it's a different type of bitters completely different bitters it's hard to compare them because they are different um probably not as commonly used but this one here i would probably use more in like a whiskey mix versus using back bar bitters in a whiskey mix because it's not quite this is more bright on the bright side of it uh for me and that's the way i've had it in mixes a few times um, so it really depends on what mix I want to go after. I really want that VTA though. And the, <laughs> but yeah, that's what I get out of this. So I think that's about it though. It's just, it's a brighter bitters than the other, uh, the raw is similar and it's close to back bar bitters and strength, but not quite there. It's a little behind it. Like I can use this at 1% in a mix pretty easily. Whereas if I use bitters, one, uh, back bar bitters at 1% in a mix, it's, I, I'm kind of, I better be prepared just to taste that in my mix, at least as a prominent note, because yeah. it kicks Get through. Go sit down. So, Sam, I think we got it. Unless there's some, anyone else have anything else? Wayne, do you have any of these? You don't have any of these, right? Trying to fight with my kitty. What? You don't have any of the VSOs, right? No. Bitters? Okay. I made a recipe. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's right. Linda has a recipe to go over. Perfect. Not my recipe. I just, do you want me to share it? Talk yeah, about it? Hopefully. Wait, you made I a forgot. recipe? No, I mixed, mixed someone it. else's recipe. Oh. Yeah. All right. So, God, I haven't screen shared in forever. Um, let's see. Oh, my God. I forgot how to do this. All right. There's Zoom. Yeah. I was in the middle. Mm, new okay so i mix this um it's called cereal killer by j2 cobb 
Um, so this has half a percent of cap lemon meringue pie, uh, one percent cap super sweet, three percent FE lemon, um, two percent flavor west yellow cake, cake yellow, um, one and a half of FA bergamot, bergamot, um, two percent hazel FA hazelnut, and two percent FA meringue and FA orange at one percent. Um, definitely isn't a cereal, um, or like the cereal killer I've had for commercial liquid. Um, it was a nice blend of, you know, I don't, not quite sure what the lemon meringue pie is really doing there. Maybe giving it some creaminess, um, with the cake, maybe the hazelnut, I think, um, because I only tested, um, FA at one, so one and a half, I was like, oh, is this going to be bitter or just weird? But I feel like the, the hazelnut actually kind of brought this all together with the orange and made a nice citrus cakey kind of mix. Like I said, there's no, um, and I also am wondering if the hazelnut maybe brought a little bit, um, how am I going to say it? Like more like cereal with the cake, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I would say I'm, so. I'm not sure. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'd say that was the idea. And then the lemon meringue pie looks, I mean, it's only in there a half a percent, but it yeah. seems like it's the bridge between the citruses, the meringue, and then the, the pie. Yeah, so it looks like a yeah, definite bridge yeah, binder, hazel, you know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. The mer cream. meringue is going to be in there for the, the cereal milk. Yeah. But there's not really. Milk or the there. sugary coating of it or whatever. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Being, you know, so. Mm -hmm. And maybe a little sweetness with the super sweet. So it really what didn't taste bad at all. Um, it was, I made 20 mils. It, did it taste more like a it. Fruit Loop cake? I mean, I didn't really even get a lot of cake. It was just, it was cake-ish, cookie-ish. You know what I mean? Even at 2%, really like I feel yeah. like you should get a lot of cake out of that. Yeah. I mean, I, I've only, I think it's four days old and it does say a 10 day steep. Um but the flavor's not bad. I I mixed it and tasted it today. Um, yeah, that's a, I mean that's a classic, yeah. well reviewed recipe, isn't it? Uh, this is no. I think I actually think. Let me see. I don't think there's any. I actually saw another one. No, there's no comments. I saw another one on here on uh, ELR that I'm trying. Yeah. To um, that wasn't by that person, so I don't know if it was. I just feel like serial like killer was not j2 Cobb's recipe no it, it's not and it's actually it's not he didn't copy it though it's actually different uh okay different, yeah no, there I, is feel another like that, one I feel like the original still used bergamot though didn't it not because i feel like that's what yeah it did it's only it's only really good in mixed drinks or fruit loop recipes but i think it was it's used done. actually lower in the original on elr I don't think it was used at one and a half. I can't remember. I thought they were both by him. And then I, I went. Tried, I tried one with Bergamot in it once on the cereal killers. And that, for me, it's still, like you said, wasn't cereal. In any way, I just didn't get that. It tastes like, you know, cereal with the orange in there. It just didn't have like the texture. So I guess like Sam said, it's a little more cakey. But I think the use of the lemon meringue pie was really good because it kind of brought a little bit of a creamy aspect to it and you know, with the cake and then the hazelnut. Yeah, it's not it's not a bad tasting recipe. But it's not like cereal killer like I've had from King's Crest or you guys, you've whatever the other company was that made it. But yeah, wasn't bad. Good job, J2 Cobb. <laughs> I like those different ones every once in a while. De definitely different than what I've been vaping every day for the last year. <laughs> okay. Now, on one last note, I got to say is, I don't know about you guys, but this was an interesting twist for a palette this week. How, yeah. how about you guys? Yeah. Oh, kind of. Oh, you guys only had the one. Never mind. <laughs> Daniel, you and I was definitely a little bit of a palette tingler. I didn't like it. No, I'm excited for next week because there's going to be some vanillas and creams going on yep. with the citrus, which will make it fun. Exactly. I just, I just miss like the pineapple episode. Oh, well, we have just orange coming up soon. That's close. Enough, I don't right? like oranges. Are we in comparison to like my mangoes, my pineapple? Because they're peaches. going to be like their blood oranges or mandarin. They're all kind of like. Yeah. And a oranges. lot of oranges give me pledge notes and cleaner notes, man. It's very thick and thin. Uh, it, you know, thick I, and thin. 
there's some that I like, but it's mostly blood oranges and the regular oranges, like TPA orange cream sucks. Okay, we'll get into it next week. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. Um. So we're done. We are. Yeah, you done. got. You got. You got it's... some stuff to give away, Mister. Yeah, we got some. We got a whole mess of things to. I mean, is, they got such a list to pick. This from. episode's too short. It feels weird. <laughs> it feels great. Hope everybody went and commented. It's refreshing. There's like three comments. Oh, look it. And you win, prepper. No, so is that it? No. Uh, for a second what? there, I really thought that was it. It's like, wow, that's auto win. Fifi La Bergamont starring in Fifty Shades of Earl Grey. We didn't get the amount of people we got on the other shows. Mm, Might be a bitter why. peel to swallow, but for many of you, this flavor of the week is probably well, too Bergamont to handle. Poor Dusty, if you guarantee win, miserable. Uh, you're you're welcome, Dusty. That street. There you go. <laughs> you're to Enjoy the your burger, man. Right. You win. Well, you won, so that's what you won. won. <laughs> FA Bergamont. He's going to be miserable. <laughs> woo, He's going to be miserable and born. You're guaranteed to be miserable with your shit. No, I'm just I mean, it's a good flavoring to have. It's a good it's flavor. Just... I, like I said, hopefully, I, Bull City and I tend to be really cool. You're probably still going to get to get $20 worth of flavor. So, who knows? I want to know who's in charge of the picture. 50 uh, Shades of Grey. Odie Duda. Earl, Earl Grey. Odie, Duda. Odie Duda. This is his thing. He makes this every week, changes it up. I like that, Odie. Oh, thank you, Odie, for that. Um, what a god! Makes it? What, what, a, yeah. what a legend! Yeah, you 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 make some sick things there, buddy. This is his. Uh, <laughs> this is his. Um, because if, if you don't remember, version. if you don't remember on old noted, the the giveaway picker used to be a totally different thing, mm-hmm. and then towards the end of old noted, we started, I believe, using that one. And then we adopted it and only use that one since um, no DX. So can, but yeah, that's Odie Duda's creation. That's his program. Uh, he changes the pictures and stuff on it every week. And it's a legend. Can I make a request? I, I mean, I'll yeah. help set it up. But can we bring back the 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 Chiba, the Chiba, oh, the Chiba wheel, the Chiba wheel, man? That was so funny, man. The first time yeah, I saw Chiba, that. buddy, where are you at? Ah. Uh, and it had someone put like a vocal behind it, like yeah, like wasn't it his uh, just him saying something? Yeah, I can't remember what it was. A penis, a penis, a penis. Th- <laughs> something like that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Next week we're doing orange creams. We did just say that. Um, so tune tune in for that the week after. Uh, I believe the week after we have listed as pancake. That'll be a good episode. Cream. I love orange creams. Is that the next episode? After I that, think so. Yeah, yeah. Orange cream, I'm excited for. And orange creams are so good. Crepe, pink, crepe, uh, French, toast, French toast, crepes, French toast and crepes. Maybe, I'm excited for that. Um, maybe an overview of waffles, but we did a waffle episode. But we'll, I mean, it would fit. But we'll we'll talk about that and see how we feel about that. Um, didn't we just do waffles? We did. We did a whole waffle episode. That'd be like another twelve flavors to add to next week. So we we're probably gonna skip them, but. Probably, but the, here's the thing: the waffle and pancake. I kind of like, mm-hmm. dude. How do you guys remember anymore what we've done? <laughs> we I waffles. just go through. Someone how told me. I think Tim waffles. told me. <laughs> it feels no, like Odie Duda told me when I asked him. He's like, "Yeah, you guys just did that, but we could." I was like, "Oh, okay. I, can't, I can't remember anymore." I was just thinking, uh, like a earlier. Yep, then, today, ha- then Hazel, not Odie Duda. Yep. How long have we been doing this? already so we're coming up on two years for noted dx this summer that's what i, I thought it was just a, like, like we hadn't see i here. thought about that too <laughs> instead of including waffle maple there aren't a lot maple, of maple needs flavors. to be its own episode he just sent me yeah. a list he sent me a list of like 20 maples get out of here we're not including that next week that could be its own episode uh, uh, next, maple, week, next week's orange maple cream pecan, be next week and maple, next week after <laughs> all the maple but we have open episodes in june we, we can maple tag bar that yeah, maple yeah. bar. Maple could totally be its own episode. Just like it would walk. actually be a good one for fall too. By the way, yeah. Uh, if you want to get seasonal with it. All right. All right. Love, Love you guys. Y'all. See you next week. Peace. Love you, fam. Thank you. See ya. If you like us, Patreon. Why can't she only listen it to was. me? It was. Yeah. That. What a sweet thing to say. I know. That. That. She messing with oh. <laughs> Daniel's the only person I see that can talk to.